There's always kind of the debate back and forth for me of like, should I go do laps? Or just go directly to my goal? And it's a total mixed bag. Sometimes there's so much stuff to do. And all these just surprise encounters with other characters. And other times... Nothing is anywhere. Huh. I'm curious, because sometimes they let me in that room and sometimes they don't let me in that room. And so whenever they do let me in that room, I'm like... I, 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 I guess something's gonna happen in here, right? Because of all the times where nothing happened in there? Or, or all the times they wouldn't let me in? Then I go in and nothing happens. And I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. Get my hopes up. There's so much empty building. Wait, did I see something on, on the table there? Devil's... wow. There is an abundance of Devil's Thorn. I must just... I must be underutilizing it or something. Ooh, jelly. Click. Thank you. I appreciate that opportunity. I feel like we set up a large enough cast of characters that I should uh, I should really be like running into more of them. Cause like whenever I go to people's rooms, their rooms are empty, apparently. So I'd kind of expect to see them like everywhere. It was just the one up there, right? Yeah. Like they're not in the rooms, but they also don't seem to be around the grounds either. I'm wondering if they went through the effort of establishing that like every single character is at some location at all times or if entire parts of the cast just vanish from existence for chunks of the game and reappear when they're when they the game wants to them just to do something so i would kind of prefer to have them standing around and even just give me a generic dialogue of like not now louis just to like at least have them exist that butterfly is clipping through the th yep just seeing them around would feel more correct. Hey there. There's one. The only one on the whole floor. Am I disturbing you? Monsieur de Richet, it seems you are everywhere. Was Mr. Von Volner able to help you? Help me? Yes. For your armillary sphere. Oh, yes, that. Louis, everything all right? I, yes, yes, <laughs> excuse me, I, I was miles away. Oh, while you are here, you wouldn't know who the last guest is, would you? What do you mean? I heard Sir Gregory speaking about it. A certain Al-Asif something or other. Who? What? Obviously I... not. It's not important. Forget it. No, no, no. Hang on. It doesn't matter, I'm telling you. We'll find out soon enough. I'm in a hurry right now. I, I'm waiting for someone. See you later, Louis. What a liar. <laughs> I'm in a hurry, he, he says right before remembering that he was just late. He was just sitting here reading a book. Is... Al-Azif to participate in the conference? That's what I was asking you. As von Wollner mentioned the arrival of this person just before the second conference... Uh, do you know who it is? No, no. I thought so for a minute, but the name means nothing to me. Sorry. It doesn't matter. Something tells me we shall find out soon enough, no? Certainly. Well, I must be leaving you. Back, he's back down, to sitting down to being and being in a hurry. These butterflies do not care about our company. Man, Devil's Thorn got strong. Displays immunities and gives me the essence points. So I'm probably gonna go end up using my current stash and picking up the remainder from the environment more soon than previously thought. If that's the new mechanic. Oh. Really? Well, we're fully restored almost.
And nobody's in the front room. Is there anyone in the front garden? Oh, that's me. I'm like, what are, what are these footsteps? I'm disappointed you can't go into this at all. Although it's really- oh, <laughs> It's actually a really under-designed under environment in there, isn't it? It's just a flat gravel texture and a bunch of... very clearly repeating pieces of hedge to the point where you can see the internal, like, block of each one. Huh. There's probably not much to do in this environment, like, ever. Yeah. I don't know how to articulate it, but there's like a weird lack of detail everywhere, where like... It looks like a rapidly thrown together proof of concept location. Where most of the games look- most of the game's locations look like fleshed out and detailed. Like it looks weird in a way that's unique to it, and was not true for the hedge maze that we actually saw, like, from the beginning of the game. Whoa. I've never been here during the day, have I? This looks really odd. It's an intense mist. The sack of seeds, it's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. How long has some of this stuff been here now? Our mom was about to leave. Can't we go through can't we like go through her bags or something? This is her boat, right? Like I feel like I should be able to go through her suitcase or something and find something vital. Like maybe she has a document that might be useful. Maybe even something that reveals the information that she might have revealed to me if she was still alive. Her dying spooked me out, because, like, we just are moving on without acknowledging her death very much, and we didn't get anything from her body or anything, and we don't even know what happened to, to her body. The camera just cut away to us waking up in the morning. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. There's nothing here. I'm pretty sure Volner hasn't dropped off the Alice Eve yet. Maybe I'm too early. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Broken? Is it broken? Huh. These locations look really odd. I, I figured the Alice Eve might be down here, but I was actually mostly just kind of poking around because I've never really... I don't think I've ever come down here during the day. I'm not even sure if it was an option. Is this supposed to be the broken for quite some time barrel? As opposed to the other one? That's, that's a shadow. The weird dark spot in on the grain or whatever. Didn't we? Br I think we broke that open or looked inside it like on the in like the first session. Oh well. This game looks really odd in daylight, basically. Uh, I'm used to yeah. I'm used to golden colors and candlelight being the visual theme of this game. It's a bit of a surprise to see it in broad daylight. I guess the garden was always kind of in broad daylight, or often was, but... Only that one hedge maze garden, for the most part. Whenever I've been outside, it's usually been dark, I believe. Ooh, more golden elixir. No books, though. I'm not finding any books. Like, my, my perk that lets me read three at once is getting kind of pointless, because I don't have any books to read. Manuel Godoy. Or, I like guess it's, it's Manuel, isn't it? Manuel? Manuel. Ah, well, Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but if I'm gonna pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. 
Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, your eminence. Do we have his entire list? Not entirely. He's immune to erudition, vulnerable to manipulation, but we don't know his whole list. And manipulation's not an option. Demons could be fun. He's vulnerable to questioning. I wanted to thank you for your help. I mean, for your time talking to me about the Holy Lands. Oh, and did you find it? It's the crusade of a lifetime for some people, Louis. You are searching for another Holy Grail. You're nearly there. Link into his thoughts. Does it annoy you at all? But what on earth is he trying to get at? Why do you ask, Louis? I don't follow. For the glory, your eminence. I can feel it coming. It's working. What? Insolence? Why, really? I am a man of the church, Louis. May God keep me from such ambition. Right. Let me in, your eminence. Why? <gasps> I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different. Uh, we're going to be in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> Uh, is he going to know we did this? Like, ha other characters know that they were being forced into, but they might have known from outside of the experience of actually it having it happen. Oh boy. Let's read the letters first. My dear Gi Giuseppe, as my health does not allow me to honor Sir Holmes' invitation to go to Lord Mortimer's, I should, gra I should be grateful if you would sit at a conference on my behalf. Naturally, you will give my thanks to your hosts, consolidate our agreements with Sir Gregory, and let him know that his venture reading regarding Cardinal Bishop Charamonte is following its course. I have every confidence in you. May God bless and protect you. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Brasci Yes, do not use your personal stamp when writing to me. Instead, use the one with my motto on it. The 1231-1792 GJGHFJ. A lot going on there. Those notes he wrote afterwards? What are they? I wonder... G J G H F J Hmm. I was trying to see if there's like J's, like if I could find a GJ somewhere on this thing, like if there was a <clears throat> if that was a code of some sort, but I don't think it is. Weirdly, the first letter of the first four sentences spell the word main, but then it's like M-A-I-N. All right, cool. C-C-I-M-S-P-T? No. Falls apart very quickly as an idea. Hmm. Hmm. S.S. Giovanni Angelo Brasci. They said to use the one with his personal stamp. His personal motto on it. Not not his not 
Huh. We'll see. <clears throat> My dear Giuseppe, I know you are on your way to Lord Mortimer's residence. I hope you have a good trip, even though you are obliged to cross the French countryside at present very agitated. Know that this mission is crucial, my friend. May God bless and protect you. SS Giovanni Angelo Brasci. The 1st of 17, 1793 EH HBCF. Wait, are we impersonating... We're not- we're not impersonating the Pope, though, right? Instead of impersonating the Pope, we're impersonating Giuseppe. Uh, so... How is reading this guy's letters helping us impersonate him if we don't know what the letters look like that are written by the guy we're impersonating? We just know the other person he's talking to. That's not good news. Um... E-H-H-B-C-F. <laughs> Hmm. I'm looking for a code. I thought maybe it's the... I was thinking maybe it was like each word that starts with those letters spells out a message that's separate. But... The first word to start with E is even on like the third row. Then I think nothing starts with H for the entire rest of the letter. Uh, I may not be good at this. Write a secret code. We're fucked. We are fucked. Right. Well, let's start right. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. Um... As we inform Sir Gregory, it is of absolute necessity that Lord Mortimer's projects do not come to fruition. We're talking about the future of the Holy See. Uh, the dial- no, the, uh... It was first and second being top left- top left corner was first, top right corner was second. Then when I came back they changed it and top right was something else? Shit. I didn't mean to click on that. Because of course I should have done an intro. How does- what is this interface? This is the most confusing interface for writing a letter. What is... Um... Whatever. I mean, the one that has his motto. Which one has his motto? Uh... I noticed something about the stamp? In one of the letters... The Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. I I know that. I thought you said you noticed. I thought you said you noticed something about the stamps. Which what did you notice? Ah, politics. The motto must be in Latin. Um. Look on the stamp on the left. Must be in Latin. What the f what, what is happening? Let me look at them. Describe them or something. Wait, no, wait. That I picked the same dialogue choice, but it brought me to a different menu. Now I'm at this. A circle with a cross inside. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Wait, so is that the one that has the, the inscription on it? Can you just let me look at the fucking stamps? Like, they're right there. Put the camera on them so I can see them. Uh. A circle with a cross inside. Does it have the motto then or not? And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Go back? The middle one? 
On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. Oh, that one says it. Why did it say that when I was looking at the other stamp? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what the f uh? It's like the weird dialogue about the spears where it felt like a bunch of weird random lines of dialogues like held together by duct tape. Latin, it blooms in the house of God. So is that the one? What's the last one say? Justizia, misericordia e umulta. Boy, I gotta brush up my foreign languages. I think it's in Italian. Justice, mercy, and humility. Justice, mercy, and humility. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. F I D D. Latin. It blooms in the house of God. Yeah, those aren't, but I thought maybe the acronym might be for the, his catchphrase, his catchphrase, his motto. I don't know which one of them is. Aren't Latin and Italian kind of expected? I mean, one of them mentions God, but they both could be his motto. I'm, I'm so fucked. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. A circle with a cross inside. Now, I distinctly remember this seal that Piaggi used on the letter he gave me. This isn't the same stamp. Oh, we have the letter. Okay. I think it's the middle one because we don't want it to be the same one from the st from his stamp because they were supposed to change it. I think this is what he was saying earlier. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. Oh. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. Okay, okay, so he just straight up has it on his hand. That's where this goes from. 2401-1793. Wow. Do without the code? Their amazing subterfuge? How does one do without the code? Wait, how does being having subterfuge even make that work? Let's just question it. In the letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaggi's tattoo. It must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. What? You didn't give me any help. Why did I? Why is that even an option? Obviously, the tattoo correlates with the password. You're supposed to give me. S why did I just spend two effort for you to not give me information? Can you move the hand back to where I can see you, or...? Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. 
That must be the key to the code. Today the date is 2401-1793. GJ... GHFJ. So he thinks that the day is not included. So 1792 is GHFJ, but 1793 is HBCF? Like, what? It's only one year off. Oh boy. Does HBCF refer to the year? Because if it does, I can just copy that number. Also highlights how convenient this is that this story, these two letters happened uh, in two separate years, which were of course only two weeks apart or something. So let's try to turn 31 into GJ. Let's see. How? Like 31 seems to point at I. Thirty one seems to point at I and How does it become GJ? Two letters? I <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I've been staring at this and I, I don't have... Ugh. Not working. <sighs> nope, it's not working. Like, I was thinking since he doesn't use the day, the day might be a rotational cipher. But I can't figure out how to apply it. Like I was thinking, oh, we're happening to write today on... Oh... I was mixing up days and months. We're writing on the 24th of January. Yeah, that's tw right. The 12 and the 1 are not. I was trying to compare the days, but I was looking at 12 and 1 because Americans. The days were 31 and 17. Okay, so for 31. Blah. Like, if I try to rotate the 31, for example, how do I write 12 as being GJ? Why would 12 be GJ? Then 1792 would be GHFJ, which is bouncing all over the place. You know what? We What? No, work. What? No. What's happening? No. <laughs> I can't highlight do without the code. It, might, it won't go there. Can I bring my mouse over? Where's my mouse? Oh god. Go back. Do without the code. F 
Fuck it. I could pretend that the code got erased during the voyage, as if the letter arrived in really bad condition. That would be perfectly understandable given that it's traveled across the seas, right? I'm a genius. I'm a goddamn genius. That puzzle's a nightmare. <laughs> I'm like, I... I... Uh, uh. Your eminence, all ready to send. What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. What do you mean, he can't hear us? What's I... going on here, Piaggi? I drugged him. I am a monster. Uh, von Volna. Vulnerable to that diversion. Who knows what his other stuff is, though? Occultism, conviction. Of course, it's not those ones. I have exercised, Louis. Ah. Uh, wow, difficulty of three. This is an expensive day we're having, huh? Whereas that one's a zero. How does he react to occultism, though? One way to know, I guess. Or, well, before I do that, let's do this. Because the old goat is going to drop us. It's a lousy turncoat. Well, he'd better not tell me he just fell asleep. Well, then, I'll not tell you that. Just calm down, calm down. Louis came to see me because Shit. he claimed he was hearing voices. We've just finished an exorcism session. An exorcism? Are you having me on? I can't see any exorcism instruments. That's because I've just put them away. I don't know what you're up to, Piaggi, but I do know you're trying to pull one over on me. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is, and there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep a secret? Of course, my son. Would you like to tell me under the confidentiality of confession? Ah, don't talk rubbish. I don't trust the little runt because he is Mortimer's son. Would you believe it? How does he know? Dear God, how is that possible? I am flabbergasted. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? Man, he's very murdery. How many discoveries did I make at the same time? Oh, that's it. He's immune to occultism and he's vulnerable to diversion. But also he specifically was like, he better not say that he's fell asleep. Which is the other option. So it was a double trap. Great. Great. Well, at least we know all of his things now. He's only immune to occultism. That was his only one. I kind of thought that was the case because of the fact that he's kind of obsessed with all that stuff. But that went very poorly. I got this, though. Yeah, I uncovered all of his stuff. So I got... Science point. Yay. <laughs> and I think we got another trait. Forger. I think I, I th might have had, had got another one too, but yeah, that's the one point subterfuge for doing that. Huh. Logic and conviction. No, I want diversion as an option. One will be against it. But not in my room's a easier choice. I had to conserve. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I, I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. Mm. 
You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi. You win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the Red Salon. I'm still just, like, actively questioning, like, a oh, close call. There's... I wish this were, weren't out of order. Where's close call? There it is. It's there? Prevented Volner from poison. He's gonna poison me. Damn. That would have been bad. That would have not been in a mess in the room, I guess. Interesting for them just to reveal what would have happened, I guess. Uh... Huh. I'm not clear on whether he knows what happened just now or not. Like, does... Will Piagi remember any of that? 